Baby's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza. Today, I am gonna show you my February setup. But before that, as always, here are all the supplies I'm gonna be needing for this month. As we all know, February is commonly known as the month of love because Valentine's Day takes place on this month. But I just found out that the International Day of Self-Love falls on February 13. So that is what we are going to be doing today. So for this cover page, I use my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in code 847 and 020. Um, to draw some heart shapes in the left hand side of the page and as you guys can also see I am using the fine tip side to draw the heart shapes or the love shapes because these shapes are very small and I found out that using this fine tip is actually very helpful to draw small things because I can have more control over whatever I wanted to draw after I am done with that, I use my Tombo Fudenoske soft tip to add some details on this cover page. By using the same pen, I then went ahead and write in the word February in this modern calligraphy style. This month's theme is heavily inspired by my February 2019's theme. For those of you who didn't know, I did almost the same theme the past couple of years. But this time around, the style is a lot different. It is fair to say that my overall style changes a lot since the first time I bullet journal. It is good to see the changes I've made and how my style evolved over the years but one thing remains the same, I am all about self-love, I believe to the core that self-love is crucial. I am not sure about you but I was one of those people who constantly put my own self down, always felt inadequate and I always compared myself to those around me like I wish to be someone else. But then one day I realized that whatever I did to myself was not healthy, like I need to stop. So for the past few months, I tried to put self-love into practice. That includes some self-care routine, organizing my life in general, and try to focus more on myself. This is my effort to accept and let go of what cannot be changed and reflecting on the good things as well as appreciating my abilities. So back to this setup, by using the same Tombo for the Nosuke, I draw a border around the quote that says you owe yourself the love you so freely give to other people. Alternatively, if you are afraid that the ink will bleed through the page, you can also use your black colored paper and glue to achieve the same result. For the decoration, I decided to draw the heart shapes on the background and same with my cover page, I filled out the empty space in between these shapes with some details in a sense that everything looks continuous from the cover page. The background ended up looks like it is a wrapping paper, I really like how these pages turned out together. The next page is my monthly log. I did more complex and time consuming layout. Last month, you can check my January video if you haven't already. I will put the link for the video in my description below. But this time around, I decided to use this very simple layout. So for this monthly log, I use my Tombow dual brush pen in code N95 and draw some lines to divide the days. The size for each day is 5 times 6 grids, including the grey lines. After I am done writing down the days, I went ahead and write down the dates. And yeah, I think that's basically it for the layout. Very simple, but turned out very cute at the same time. As always, I use the empty space on the left hand side for my notes section. 
and as you guys probably know i usually use um, the same technique or style in one setup to create more consistency so same goes with this one by using the same tombow brush pens i first fill out the empty space with the same design as uh, my previous pages and i also did the same bold border as my quote page for this notes section after I am done writing down the title, I went ahead and erased all the pencil trace on this spread. The next spread is of course my habit tracker spread. So for this month tracker, I am bringing a new layout into my bullet journal. I first divided the page into 10 boxes for 10 habits or things that I wanted to track. Each box consists of 28 grids for the days of the month that fit into these 14 times 2 grids. After I am done drawing the boxes, I went ahead and write down the dates in each box. Alternatively, if you want to save some time, you can just leave the boxes blank and every time you want to fill in the tracker you can go ahead and do so by simply filling in the boxes and that way you can still see or track how well you are sticking with your habits and as you guys probably noticed in this month setup as well as my previous setups i normally use my pencil first to outline and give me like a rough idea of where i want certain things to be especially for my titles because i want to make sure that all of my titles fit nicely at the center so planning out with pencil is crucial for me pencil is like one of those supply i need the most for my bullet journal the next spread is a special spread dedicated for this month's theme Practicing self-love requires us to accept and embrace who we truly are inside out, our flaws, all our imperfections. I don't want to sound too self-absorbed, but when I asked myself this question, what do I love about myself? I didn't have an answer for that. So it was in that moment that I realized how easy it is for us to compliment other people but when it comes to ourselves, we usually just concentrate on our flaws. So in order to recognize my uniqueness, I challenge myself to come up with 28 things I like about myself. So every day I'm gonna sit down, dig deep down, see things in myself that I didn't know existed and recall all the compliments I've ever received in the past and write one down each day. The next spread is yet another new spread that I introduced in my bullet journal this month. I know most of you probably are familiar with this one but I've been bullet journaling for around 4 years now and this is the first time I create a mood tracker spread mainly because I didn't feel the need to have one but in line with this month's theme, I feel like this spread is much needed. So for this tracker, I draw 28 tiny love shapes or heart shapes with my pencil to act as my guide and write down the dates beside these shapes. By the end of the month, after I am done filling these shapes in with the respective colors, I will go ahead and erase the pencil trace and that way everything will look like a decoration in a page. The next spread is my brain dumb spread. I am not gonna go into details about this spread. I think you all know by now what is a brain dump, but to explain this briefly to those of you who are new to bullet journal, as humans, we always have so many thoughts running through our heads at once that it can seem overwhelming. So I basically use a brain dump to help me clear and organize my thoughts. I don't usually do this in my regular bullet journal. I normally just take a piece of paper and and write down everything but I decided to include this one in my setup this month the next and also the last spread in my February setup is of course my weekly spread so for the first weekly spread of February I decided to bring back the vertical Dutch door layout into my bullet journal I've been using this Dutch door layout since 2019 I remember feeling so scared 
care to cut the pages but I found it very helpful especially this vertical Dutch door layout because the notes section will still be visible from the next page and if I'm already moved into the second week of February for example I can still easily access this section I don't need to create another notes section next week as well as the decoration so it is a win-win situation for me so here's the final flip through of this month's setup. I honestly like how every page turned out. I think I smiled the whole time I flip in the pages. It is still simple yet cute and very functional at the same time. Alright guys, that's all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my comments section is always open if you have any questions and suggestions. I would also really appreciate it if you guys can help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.